Go on. Do you want me to talk? Yeah. One of the really interesting things about the bistro trade is that in some ways it wasn't just about one trade, the pattern we see unfolding there. It was actually a pattern that encapsulated the way the financial system worked. Bistro essentially took, say, $10 billion worth of credit risk, but you only funded the bottom $700 million, say one-tenth for ease of explanation. So you focused on that one-tenth which you'd actually funded, the one-tenth that was supposed to be risky, and somehow the rest of it, which people called super senior, just sort of vanished from your mind. It went into kind of a phantom cyberspace where no one really worried about it anymore. And the point was that essentially the financial system as a whole has been like that, in that we've all been worrying about the risky or the obvious risky parts of finance, like the hedge funds, like the risky pieces of leveraged loan debt, like the riskiest parts of the mortgage debt. But the rest of it that was supposed to be risk-free, um, all the boring bits of the system, like monolines or AIG, um, that just kind of vanished from view. So in a sense, we superseded the entire financial system and just ignored it.